Hello and welcome to the ASAP Bio Myth Busting series. Today we are tackling a common misconception that preprints are merely preliminary research and therefore are not reliable. So let's set the record straight and explore what preprints really are. Preprints are scientific manuscripts shared publicly before journal organised peer review. But lack of peer review does not mean preprints only include preliminary research. And here's why. Most preprints are posted around the same time as journal submission. A 2023 survey of 3400 bioarchive and medarchive authors found that 42% post their preprints less than a month before submitting to their first choice journal, and 37% of authors preprint their work when or after submitting to a journal. This means that the research is complete and has undergone thorough internal review by the authors. So preprints are not just initial ideas, they are polished drafts ready for public feedback. What happens when authors submit their preprint to a preprint server? Recent studies found that most preprint servers screen manuscripts for content that is within scope, have reasonable claims, comply with legal and ethical requirements, and have at least a baseline level of research integrity. These screening and moderation processes help ensure preprint quality. Indeed, preprints often contain detailed methods and data such that other scientists could scrutinize and critique the work. Traditionally, scientists seek feedback from fellow researchers by submitting their articles for journal organized peer review. They also rely on scientific journals to disseminate their work. However, not all scientists believe that these are necessary steps. Sometimes a preprint is the final scholarly output for a given research project. Here is Stefano Vianello, a developmental biologist, writing about publishing his work on preprint servers without plans to send it to journals. I decide to not submit to journals because I see the future of scientific publishing as being journal-less, where research is posted and evaluated openly and through preprinting platforms. When I thus embody that future in the present, despite the fact that the current system of rewards and incentives are not there yet, I am doing prefigurative practice. So far, we have discussed author choices, but how does the scientific community and wider public view preprints? It is now common practice for scientists to cite research reported in preprints as evidence. Many institutions and funding agencies now recognise preprints as valuable contributions to science. For example, both CZI and the Gates Foundation mandate preprint posting. Lastly, preprints have been covered in the media and used to inform government policy. An analysis of 81 national and international COVID-19 policy documents from 2020 found more than 60% cited preprints. So let's recap. Preprints are detailed manuscripts, often shared right before journal submission. For some researchers, preprints are the final output of their scholarly work, and preprints continue to gain recognition in the scientific community and with the wider public. Therefore, preprints are not just preliminary research. Thanks for tuning in. This video was created and produced by ASAP Bio. If you found it helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. For more insights, check out the video description box for references and resources. And don't forget to visit the ASAP Bio website or follow us across all of the social medias.